assumed office today with a promise to inject efficiency in their respective dockets. Five others are expected to take up their new assignments tomorrow, as Makori Ongechi reports. <laughs> After Friday swearing in, the four newly appointed cabinet secretaries Monday morning assumed office and reported to their respective cabinet ministries. First to assume office was former Royal Media Services Chief of Staff Farida Karone, who took over from Professor Jacob Kaimenyi, who was nominated as a permanent representative at UNESCO. Farida pledging an enabling environment for efficiency at Earth House while prioritizing digitization of land registration documents to frustrate the infamous cartels at the ministry. I am not coming to reinvent the wheel. I'm only coming to support what has been done, to, to build the capacity to enhance where I can, maybe bring on board a few new skills, but by and large, the agenda of government is very clear. The targets of the ministry are clear. I am not going to operate outside of that scope. We have our constitution to guide us. We have the relevant laws. So should there be doubt, we shall always fall back on the legal framework that it has been provided. <laughs> Former Director of Public Prosecutions, Keriako Tobiko, who took over the Environment Ministry from Professor Jude Wahungo, kicked off his first day at work by putting illegal loggers on notice. The CS father asking so millers who are normally allocated quarters within the forest to ensure they cut trees within the given allocated space and also replant once they are vested. Those who do not comply with their license obligations will have their licenses suspended or revoked. Former Public Service Commission Chairperson Professor Margaret Kobe has also taken over from Cecil Kariuki at the Public Service Youth and Gender Affairs Ministry. Kariuki was moved to the Minister of Health in the same capacity. Simon Chelwi was the last to take charge in the Water Ministry after the outgoing CS Eugene Wamalu were handed over to him. Housing, health, food security, and manufacturing. And water is a facilitator, is an enabler. All these objectives cannot be realized without the support of the water sector. Other cabinet secretaries set to take over their new dockets include John Munyas of the Petroleum and Mining Ministry, Peter Munya, the East African Community and Northern Corridor Development Ministry, and Okuria Tan in the Ministry of Labor. After their appointment to the cabinet, today marks their first day in office as they seek to deliver the Jubilee Administration's agenda in the next five years. Makorongechi for Citizen TV, Nairobi.